But planned graduation ceremonies remain suspended at UNISA as workers affiliated to Union Nihau continue their protest over... Staff at the University of South Africa have accused the institution of appointing some members into senior positions without correct qualification. What's up everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra and I am back again with another... With another frustrating... Frustrating... Oh, with the frustrated energy, he is one of disgusted. I've never been this disappointed in my life. So that's what the bill is gonna be about. Um, I know that you guys might be wondering where I've been all along. I've been actually holding myself from making this video for some time now. While I was gathering some information and some facts, there's a lot going on currently at Genesa and I am just so embarrassed to call myself a UNISA student at this point in time so if you haven't for the first time please do press the subscribe button guys down below and if you're returning to subscribe I thank you so much for staying tuned uh, let me just go straight to the video and just spill the tea so I just want to share my experience and I was so actually I don't want to say it glad because it's a very horrible situation that is happening but I got consoled when I found out that there are actually thousands of other people who are going through the same thing that I'm going through who are feeling exactly if not more than I am feeling right now like all the time and money we've spent there are people who took out loans to study in Jinsa and for all this nonsense to happen it's just not fair so basically what happened with my situation of course oh sorry guys i'm actually in bed there's like some stuff next to me um it's cold okay like there's no any other excuse i'm gonna give you for me shooting in this manner but just forgive me i just couldn't wait to actually get this out of my chest so i was with Yunisa for some time and then there came a point where i was done my teaching practice because i'm doing bachelor of education i wanted to actually apply for SACE so that i can start looking for employment um those who might not know SACE is the i don't know if i can say organization or whatever that every teacher is supposed to be registered under to be you know recognized in the country that you are an educator so they do allow you even when you're still a student to do it uh, you need your proof of registration your academic record of which i applied or asked for um and still never got it my studies are fully paid up to the point that unisa is having a balance that is due to me that I know for a fact if I am to start doing procedures of wanting it to be paid back to me, it's going to be another hassle on top of many other hassles that I've been experiencing or we've been experiencing with UNISA. So um, I couldn't, I didn't get my academic record. Um, they told me that I need to go to, you know, the, the procedure of how you're going to go to your my admin uh, academic record, you press on your link and then you request they say they're gonna send it through email they keep on saying they're editing it they're editing it and two and a half years later I, I, i've never seen my academic record besides the one that i see when i'm like seeing my modules on their website but i can't call that an academic record even if i print it out it's not an academic record so i waited and waited and nothing happened till this day i can't have access my academic record okay that's one issue second issue i then came across because like i was finalized with my 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 studies then i come across two modules that are saying financial cancellation i think i've ever mentioned this in one of the videos and the reason why I like to share my experience is so that you know that this is something that is happening at Genisa and you are not alone. And possibly there are, maybe there might be solutions or maybe this video might reach to somebody who might help, actually help us. Anything is possible at this point. But it is good to talk about these situations because they are really um, tormenting. And I feel like that is even an, an understatement of a word. So... I realized that there's actually two modules that I know that I passed. I remember seeing my marks. I remember writing the exams of these modules. I remember seeing my final marks. One of these modules was, was a distinction. I'm asking myself, with financial cancellation, how come? Because on my 
statement or my financial details. There's nothing that says I owe anything. They usually show you a balance that is due to you if they owe you or they show you the money that you're supposed to pay. It's not there. I've never seen, like, I'm always keeping up to date with my payments. And then it comes to the point where because the Deppen branch has been closed for some time now there are many times where i went there i actually i've been have clips i think i have some clip i'll actually add on this video where i could come i could turn from the gates we are not opening yes they are there inside you can see cars are parked there are security guards and stuff but they are not letting us in because they're not working i wanted to find later that they're actually striking when i had to go and check on the news out of all places that they're striking and there's a lot that is happening with Unisa. <sighs> there is a lot that is happening as you will see, as I will leave some of the clips on this video. Concerns which have been ignored for a while. Some angry UNISA staff members have accused the acting executive dean in the College of Accounting Sciences, Mandi Sakandela, of being appointed into a senior position without proper qualifications. It came to a point where I, I was so uncomfortable because, like, I'm supposed to be finishing my studies. I'm done, actually. Like, I finished last year. I wrote all my examinations that I was left with. I'm supposed to be getting a confirmation that I've, pros I've I'm done, I've completed my studies. So I'm seeing nothing is happening. I keep on checking on the different branch, nothing is happening. Yeah. July. Let me just go to the Peter Marisbeck branch because that's another nearing, and not near because it's like a, a two hour drive going and coming back, of which is an inconvenient for me as a student on top of everything else that is happening. So I decided to, to go to PMB. Luckily at PMB, I find that they actually are operating. When I reach there, I tell them my problems. The first thing that they did, they actually blamed it on me. Why did you take so long to fix this problem? I'm like, why am I having this problem from the first place? Why are we not asking those questions? Because I wrote this, uh, so they're asking, where is the proof uh, that you wrote? Where is the proof of, uh, they give you? I'm like, mind you, these are the modules that I wrote um, because I've been studying for some time. It's a long distance, part-time learning, by the way. So I think also them not having a, a competitor is an issue. That is why they're just too relaxed. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm like, how are you going to blame me about this? But then because I need help, I gotta humble myself and see what answers I'm gonna get. Maybe these people, because finally somebody is attending to me and I haven't had that in two plus years, you know. So I take the blame, no, I let it pass, or let it sleep. I just like, don't focus on her blaming on me, even though it was getting on my nerves. And so they said that I need to reinstate the, the modules that they were owing. So apparently what happens at Tunisia is that when there is some money uh, that the particular module or the modules that I was, let's say I'm owing, if they, they don't get paid in a particular frame of time, then they, they remove the information from the financial details you will be owing without knowing that you're owing. That doesn't even make sense to me. I don't know if it does make sense to you guys, but that's what I was told, like point blank, direct on my face. Uh, then I was like, so how am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to pay if then it is removed from where I can access my information of everything that has to do with my studying? There was no email that was sent to me about this. Uh, there's nothing on my UNISA or my profile on, or as a student that says that I am actually owing this amount of money. So I decided, you know what, okay, let me pay. I paid there and there, two of them, same time they took the money. They are very quick at taking the money also, but they are very slow when it is coming to deliver, delivering the services. I was like, oh, okay, so there, okay, it looks like things are moving in this uh, branch of Ulisa and PMB because I'm here for the first time. So I got hopeful 
they took the money it reflected the same time i could log in i could see now my emotions are back mind you i'm paying for them again i know that i did these modules i know that i wrote the examination but because they're asking me for proof i wrote these modules one of them was a 2019 module one of the other one was 2017 module how on earth am i going to be able to get proof of that so whatever they bring back the modules when i check on my assignments mind you i'm not registered at this point because according to what i know i'm done studying i don't need to register so when they reinstate them then when i go to my assignment they show the assignment of these modules that i did in their marks so it looks as if now i'm waiting for registration sorry for examination for these uh, modules but i'm not registered so i don't know how it works how who, who is communicating with me are they recognizing me and then what happened later so she she sent a message the lady was helping me decided to I'm gonna send a message to pretoria but mind you they are striking i was like i didn't know even they are striking in pretoria the main branch they are striking but then because it's a long distance learning they're supposed to be able to open their laptops and reply on emails just like how i'm sitting with my garden 90 right now what is so hard for them for them to do the same thing i'm thinking because i can't ask this directly i'm still trying to humble myself and get the help that i need because i'm at this point i'm desperate i'm frustrated trying to suppress my feelings and all that it's just not a lot is going on and so the lady says okay i've sent the email to two different people in different directions in departments they are supposed to respond to you with the marks your final marks of these um modules so i will call you or send you an email to let you know when they responded to me okay cool now i am like very positive things are working out maybe i don't need to write an examination again they're gonna look for my marks and then she tells me it will take don't be excited so early because it will take some time it takes these things take time um it can take them some time to find them uh, maybe something like two weeks going like you know forward minimum is, is two weeks i'm like two weeks is not bad i've been waiting for years for this thing so i go home i get excited a month passes no one is communicating with me uh, second month halfway through the second month i decided to actually call this lady because i saved the number uh, when she called me because on my way back that day when i went to fix the reinstating situation she called me saying that they've reinstated your modules i was so excited you know like oh okay things are working now and then so i saved her number so i decided let me just call this lady because all the numbers that she needs are not working the number the free number or eight hundred one one is not working lecturers not picking emails are not being answered for a, a great year plus now so i call her i try to reintroduce myself to her obviously she works with a lot of people she might not remember me i keep on trying to make sure that i i, I retell the story of what happened how we met what she did what she said what i said then in the middle of the conversation she remembers me she said oh i remember you why did it take so long to call but when you have a query you don't then take long to call you need to keep checking up i'm like again i'm confused because are you not supposed to receive an email about my case and then forward the email to me so that i can know what was said about me and the affairs of my academics but then i was like you know at this point i couldn't just keep quiet i was like fuming furious i was like you know what you guys are playing games with us you received she said she received an email um a while ago but she didn't think in her head that she must actually forward the, the message to the owner so that I can know, or at least retype it and tell me what they said. She didn't bother. Instead, again, for the second time, she blamed me. Why are you taking so long to call? Uh, you know, when you have a query, I said, no, ma'am, you're not gonna do that again on me. You're not gonna now pin it on me. You are working there. It is your duty to let me know what they said because you are communicating about my academic affairs. So it is your duty to forward the message to the rightful owner. How was I supposed to know they responded to you? Because every single day I'm checking my emails. Every single day I'm checking my SMSs. I'm checking my phone. No one is calling me. No one is texting me. No one is emailing me. So then she saw that I was coming with that. Then she like kind of like you know shown to be hearing where I'm coming from. 
and she, you know, because I feel like that's a strategy also that they use to give an excuse that they're not working. So they will like always want to blame it on me. But on this day, I was not from that. I was not taking it. So then she goes on to say that the email was actually replied and they came with a conclusion that I did not attend my examinations. It is written absent uh, to examination. I was like, the fuck? I was there, I wrote, I even saw my final marks, but then because they know it was years ago, I didn't keep my proof, that's the only thing that's gonna bite my behind, that I don't have anything to prove that I did right, and my memory alone is not enough to prove that I did write my examinations and therefore they win in that way. I keep on communicating with a lot of people in different platforms. They tell me that these things happened to them. I have a close friend also who had a situation where a hair and her group in her course, she's doing psychology. Uh, there was this one module where they were told they were absent on examination. Luckily for her, she kept the receipt or the proof, or she screenshot because she was writing online. She she managed to screenshot this last uh, thing that they show as a confirmation of you writing. So they sent back that email and said, "I we did write an examination." And then even then, when they did have proof, it took them a whole year for them to be able to come back and say, okay, fine, we recognize that you did write an examination. They came back with their marks. So there is a lot that is happening. It is tormenting. It is stressful. It is depressing. What they're doing is truly not uh, on. And apparently, there's a lot going on in the management situation. There's monies which are being eaten. There's corruption that is happening. There's these people being sexually harassed you guys if you check the news you will see these things i'll try and leave some of the articles you will pause and read for yourself and i feel like it's so unfortunate that we became the people who had to get our status at Tunisia throughout this time i regret all the times where i took some breaks i regret all the times where like there were times where there were some situations in my personal life where i had to like you know let me take a break for this semester let me take one more for this semester because like I didn't have a rush on anything. I was knowing that, you know, I'm doing a long distance learning and I have, you know, a right or I'm, I'm allowed to take uh, the minimum uh, modules. I didn't think, if I knew this was going to happen, I would, I swear to God, I would have started like a maniac uh, and regardless of whatever that I would be going through at the time, I would have find ways to force situation. There was this one time uh, I had my last born baby and I think I've ever shared this story to those who've been following uh, subscribe to this channel. I had a baby, a C-section. My husband had to take me to the examination room and leave him for in two hours with a newborn baby. I was walking like an elderly, you know, because I was still not healed, but because I was pushing to finish, you know, what I had started. And if I think about all those memories now, I just feel so, I feel like angry is an understatement. I feel so, I don't know, I feel numb. You know when you get angry to the point that you're just numb. So I do hope that they actually are gonna fix these things because I came across also a, a, a daily time, Sunday times, Sunday times, I think, um, article that was actually um, writing that they've been warned that if they don't fix their mess, they're going to lose their uh, credit credentials. So I hope that that will work as a wake-up call and for them to do better because what is happening is affecting a lot of people. A lot of people. There are people who are literally relying on these courses for them to be... They have plans. I was one of those people. I had plans. Which by this time, I should be looking for a job. I should... Like, you know, I have made connections. I have made friends in the industry that I'm trying to go into. And things were looking positive. And then Anissa does this to us. It's, it's really not fair. So, at the end of the day, guys, you need to understand. You need to... I don't know... <laughs> I don't even know what I want to say to you on this. I think at this point, I need somebody to tell me something to make me feel better. If I'm trying to give you guys an advice how to deal with the situation, I'll be lying and faking right now. I don't want to lie to you. I don't know how to feel about this. But I do obviously try to keep busy. Personally, I always have something to do. I don't sit and do nothing. Those who are actually following me on TikTok, they will see that I've... Uh, decided to open up about my gift and talk about the things that I don't normally talk about. If you're not following me on TikTok, please do check it out. It's Princess K Yanja. 
and so I'm seeing I'm engaging with a lot of people from different you know places I've, I have a merchandise that I'm selling to these people and uh, these crystal stone that I'm, I'm wearing this one right here it's one of the merchandise things that I actually inform people about and I'm, I'm selling it throughout the country every week i have deliveries to make through in different provinces and it keeps me busy i do event planning those who know me personally they will know this and uh, your birthdays your baby birthdays your baby showers and all the kind of things so it kind of keeps me busy so i don't have to stress so much about this but because i'm busy it doesn't mean that it doesn't affect me it does affect me it frustrates me and i don't want to be doing things for the sake of trying to distract myself i should do things as things that i do on the path when my career is proper it's prospering it is moving forward and i see myself growing in what i love the most which is to teach because i believe i was a born teacher which is almost the same thing that i'm doing on my tiktok account if you guys check it out you will see that i'm actually literally doing what i was born to do which is to teach everything that i know that i'm passionate about i love to teach people about those things so yeah guys that's the story um let me know if you have any experience with Junissa. if you had an issue and it was fixed please do hook us up we need the help at this point in time it's not child's play we literally need all the help that we can get i've been as far as going on twitter uh, on tiktok i'm coming across people who are complaining others have big problems some people have they need to graduate they were given dates it's a lot guys like i said it's a lot going on so we truly need each other at this point and um, whoever who have ways of reaching to these people please do let us know what is it that we need to do we've tried everything that we know calling them doesn't work sending emails doesn't work there's someone who actually told me she 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 tried to apply for a change of surname during her study they didn't change it a, a whole year was finished they didn't change she had to graduate with her ex's uh, ex-husband is said him how hurtful is that like it's just it's too much what they're doing is just too much we can laugh and, and all that but at the end of the day it's just tormenting imagine this person is graduated with the same name of a person she despites possibly or she doesn't want to be related or linked with but because she had to graduate they didn't change the same name and therefore she's she's stuck with that and she's gonna change the same name obviously in home affairs but then hey you know what it's just so much guys thank you so much for staying tuned in um i hope that i see you guys next time i'll try by all means to actually come back now i feel like i do have enough space and quietness that i can come back and make daily content or weekly content like i used to do before so yeah thank you so much for being patient with me i know that i've been i've disappeared for some time but focusing myself so much on tiktok because tiktok is so short and easy i can shoot anywhere i am even if there's noise but then with my channel here i always want peace and quiet so that i can be able to edit and give you extra information and all that but then i definitely do promise you that i'm back and thank you for so much for being patient um until next time guys love and light